Welcome to Divine Femme TV. My name is Sarah Rose and it is an honor and a blessing to be able to to serve the courageous souls that are part of this collective awakening into heart-centered unity consciousness. So that being said, if you're listening to this on the podcast, I would love it if you leave a review and consider joining us over on YouTube at Divine Femme TV, where you can connect, leave comments, and I personally try to respond to as many of those as possible. Divine Feminine on this journey, you are brought to your knees many times, and the very onset of this journey as you've met your divine counterpart and left in a puddle on the floor, completely a wreck during your first round of separation, when you feel that soul shock, kickstarts your spiritual ascension journey. For many, your kundalini awakening. And you are left with the obsessive thinking and the pain and the hurt and the deep feeling of abandonment and betrayal and rejection and you will look back on this journey and you will see how everything unfolded perfectly for the divine orchestration of your life your highest divine blueprint One theme that you will revisit on a deeper and deeper level will be of surrender. Your twin flame gives you the opportunity to learn the power of surrender, surrendering to the divine and what that truly means. Surrendering to the divine orchestration of your life. Surrendering all outcomes and attachments and expectations. Surrendering all timelines. Surrendering even all hope for a future outcome. Hope for a future outcome is a very dangerous place to be on this journey because it will continuously lead you into suffering. The hope for a specific outcome keeps your focus, your point of perception, your conscious awareness on something potential as a future projection and keeps you out of your present moment awareness where all of your power lies. When you come into divine union with your twin flame, you won't have hope in your heart. You will have peace. You will have serenity. You will have no need for it, and you also simultaneously won't be rejecting it. You will be fully complete within, with or without them, in your life experience, because this journey is not about that. Your ships come in on this journey in all different ways, not just with the divine counterpart, but with your purpose, with the divine prosperity that is your birthright, with your highest authentic timeline, with your career, your success, the abundance, all of it. It all comes in on a don't care see. And what does that mean? It means you're no longer in your little mind hoping, wishing, wanting, or needing. 
anything outside of yourself to complete you. Because you have fully surrendered the plan for your life. You have surrendered the purpose for your life. You've surrendered the orchestration of it all to a higher divine intelligence. And as you surrender to the divine orchestration and the divine intelligence that is orchestrating all all of life, there are no accidents, everything is perfect. As you surrender to this and release your attachments to the specific outcomes and expectations and needs and wants and and desires of the little mind, you are carried through your journey with grace. The infinite substance that animates life that you are carries you, supports you, shows up for you. Because life supports life and you are life itself. You are the infinite awareness and the divine presence that is looking through your eyes. But as long as you see yourself as a separate sense of self that needs to go out into this world full of separate people, places, and things to make your way in the world and effort and strive and try to figure out the best way to get your your agenda forward, right? Your highest path, your highest timeline, your purpose, your union, your abundance, whatever. You're going out into the world to try to figure it out and to try to carve out the best path for yourself your efforts will lead to suffering and quite frankly failure because this journey is not about you continuing to muster up your willpower and effort and motivation from a separate sense of self that wants to go out into the world and obtain something This journey is about surrender and service. And when you completely surrender your life to service, this is when the miracle occurs. At some point on this journey, you must be willing to surrender to the unknown. And I can say it's also going to be many points on the journey. Like I said, this is going to be a theme that you revisit on a deeper level as you as you move into heart-centered unity consciousness. You will be asked to surrender deeper than you ever have before. And if you think surrendering the divine plan with your twin flame is difficult, you will be faced with deeper levels of surrender. And it's only difficult to the degree that you resist it. So you're creating your own suffering. But it's not your, your first and last experience with surrender. So my suggestion to you would be, if this is resonating, to get really intimate with what surrender actually really means and realize inwardly where you feel the the tension the holding on the unwillingness to let go the 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 inability to release the need to control This is creating a lot of friction on your journey. And as you let it go, you will be carried by the flow of grace. 
to your next destination, to your next experience, to your next phase of the journey. All will unfold organically and naturally. So become really intimate with this, what appears to be a concept at first of surrender to you. But as long as it remains a concept, you will remain suffering in cycles. Because you're still trying to overlay your personal egoic will on reality. With that being said, if you want support and guidance on your journey, you're welcome to check out Embody the Empress, which is my Divine Feminine membership. You can find that wherever you're listening to this, and there is, at the time of this recording, a three-day free trial, so you can totally check it out and get access to it immediately. If you're new here, I would love it if you hit subscribe. Um, If you enjoyed this content, give it a thumbs up. Um, Drop me a comment, let me know. And if you have any suggestions for future recordings, any questions, then go ahead and drop that in the comments as well. If I feel it will serve the collective at the highest level, then I just may take your question and use it for the next message. So I hope that you got value from this. And until next time, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.